Dear family, this banner of love and devotion now being folded is a loving, living memorial of the courageous thoughts of our comrade, Fernanda, the one you came here to honor this day. The blue field represents the sky that overlooks our land and denotes the watchfulness of God the Eternal. The red stripes tells us the blood and sweat and tears that has been offered and conquered by comrades' devotion to the responsible freedom of this country. The white stripes boldly proclaim the peace that, that Fernando helped to bring to our future generation. This is comrades' flag. This is Fernando's flag. This is our spiritual heritage. Receive it with the tears of our minds and the faith of our hearts.
the United States Army and a grateful nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Fernando died in Christ. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. My dear family, this morning we come together to renew our trust in Christ Jesus, who by dying on the cross has set us free and rising to open the gates of heaven for us. This morning we pray for our brother Fernando that he may share in Christ's victory. And we pray for his family and his wife, his children, his spouses, grandchildren, family, and friends, that the good God may grant them the gift of his loving consolation. And so we pray. Eternal God, you made the union of man and woman a sign of the bond between Christ and the church. Grant peace and mercy to our brother Fernando, who was united in love with his wife, Joan. May the care and devotion of his life on an earth for a lasting reward in heaven. Look kindly on his wife, Joan, and his children, grandchildren, family, and friends. As now they turn to your compassion and love, strengthen their faith and lighten their loss. We ask this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And this time, the family chosen the beautiful liturgy of the reading, so we would like to invite a first reading to be proclaimed from the book of Ecclesiastes, Peter Cassell. seen the business that God has given to mortals to be busy about. God has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts so they cannot find out from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks for that.
reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointed time, the ungodly helpless, the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person. Though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more since then are we now justified by his blood? Will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if we, while were enemies, we were reconciled to God. Through the death of his son, how much more once reconciled will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. disciples and this morning as we gather together as a people of faith to celebrate this precious gift of life. There's so much sadness and pain we have in our hearts. And in the sadness and pain, the comforting words of Jesus come to us and telling us, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I tell you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself. So that where I am, there also you may be. Where I am going, you know the way. And Thomas, one of his disciples, said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. My beloved family, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, I want to thank everyone coming here this morning to express your love and your support. Your presence here is a tribute to Fernando, also known as the baby, a parishioner here at St. Pius X, and prayerful support to the Cassell and the Vergas families. It means a lot to them, so on behalf of the family, I thank each and every one of you. Let me assure everyone close to Fernando, especially his beloved wife, Joan, his children, Christina, Michael, Tiffany, and his spouses, Joanne, Ada, and Anthony, his grandchildren, Scott, Rocco, and Antonio, his nephews and nieces, friends and friends, and those who could not attend due to the COVID-19 situation, that the people of this parish family and myself, including our acolyte Loretta and Virginia, and our music ministry, Thomas and Terry. We express our condolences and sincere prayers. 
This is where we have gathered today to place our trust in the Lord who cares for Fernando beyond what words can describe and whose love brings us the gentle warmth of this compassion and consolation. We know that so many memories about Fernando have been thought about and shared among each other during these past few days through phone calls, text message, Facebook postings, since his passing from this life on June 22nd, 2021. Yet it is our fervent prayer that the memories of your goodness will continue to nurture and nourish all of us. Stay quiet until you can be, all right? To nurture and nourish all of us as we continue our journeys through life. Yes, we are going to miss Fernando. It is always hard to lose someone we love especially when there's someone like Fernando. But in the midst of our grief in this unprecedented and chaotic time, we can remember Fernando with joy, and we can have great gratitude for his life and thank God for his life in the celebration of his marriage. It is difficult to know what to say at times like this, trying to describe eight, nine years, eight months, and three days of living in a few short moments. How do you do justice for someone who meant so much to the many people who love Fernando? I never got to know Fernando while he lived on an earth. But in preparation for this family, I talked to his family and asked them what sort of person Fernando was. They described a man who lived faithfully, piously, and with high standards and morals. And these qualities expressed themselves in a certain perfectionism throughout his life. And his wife wrote a lot of things. She wrote four pages, but they're too short of her. And they really dark, so I could not understand a few things. All right, so please have mercy on me, John. She writes, he was the most popular name, BP, by family and friends. Why do you call him BP? <laughs> all right, I will come to your house tonight, all right. <laughs> she writes, my husband was a classy guy. Always made me, my family, feel safe and comfortable. You always wanted this done right when you went out to a restaurant. Drinks, food, and service was very, what is that? Important to him, I'm sorry about that. I need to change my glasses. As a bartender and a restaurant owner of the Pompeii, Zucca Pompeii room in Howard Beach, he was very particular of going out and having a fun time with the family and most of all his friends. He was loved by all those who met him. No one ever had a good, bad thing to say about him. So he did not have any main bones. And of course, he loved his wife. He loved his wife. So Fernando adored his wife, wife Joan. Joan and Fernando knew that the Lord could not have led them to better partner a better best friend, a better love of their lives for each other. They were always like two peas in the same spot. They did everything together. They were married over 46 years. Yet they both supported each other and kept their wedding promises until Fernando died on last Tuesday. And with this marriage, God gave them three beautiful children. And in return, they, he got three great grandchildren numerous nephews and nieces, and they were all his family. Yes, Fernando loved his children. He was so happy to see them, how they are settled in the life. And when the grandchildren came, they became the apple of his eyes. It was such a joy and happiness. That gave him the complete fulfillment, being a what it to be grandpa. So he said his treasures were not in the wealth, or the earthly position. His wealth was his family. That was everything made for him. Even the spouses came, the children's spouses came, he treated them like his own children. And he loved them dearly. He was blessed by the wonderful family and loved them very much. I said again that. <clears throat> he was celebrated a special bartender and icon of three famous bartenders, Bibi, 
diesel to the diesel and Nikki the best. He put all the people who were not around flat and was considered a good fella by all. And his daughter Tiffany writes, Fernando Cassell, lovingly known as a VP to most who knew him, in fact, what most people don't know is that he actually did like the nickname Bibi, but he was stuck with it. He lived along a beautiful life and was loved and respected by everyone who knew him. He wasn't afraid to give you his opinion or tell people, listen to me, because he felt he had the best advice. Really? I never met this guy. I should. <laughs> he mostly loved people that agreed with him, and if he did not, he would love to spend time debating you and telling you why you were wrong. Oh boy. <laughs> he was an amazing man and had the most amazing stories from his childhood and his life as a bartender. He would tell stories of his trips in, in Italy with his mother by a boat and all the famous people he met while bartending. However, he wasn't impressed or intimidated by anyone. He was a street, a street smart that carried him through his entire life. He was a strong will, but always loving in his own. He was loved and adored by his wife Joan, children and their spouses, Christian and Joan, Michael, Ada and Tiffany and Anthony, and grandson, Scott, Rock and Anthony and family, countless friends who will be missed dearly every single day. Yes, we are going to miss every day. But do you believe that one day you all are going to see him again? Yes, sir. One day we all are going to see him again, but again, it's up to you how you live your life. I don't see the second casket over here. I just see the one casket. What he carried with him? His bank balance, his fancy car, his home, his degrees, the name he had, his good bartender, his good father. He didn't carry anything. Everything matters. What he carried with him is love for God and love for one another. When I was family, I was a relationship. His relationship was good. He came, this was his parish. This was his second home. This is where he came in worship. This is where he brought his family. This is where he shared the faith with his children. And that's where he nourished. And second thing, the relationship, the responsibility. When he married to Joe, the wonderful couple. He spoiled her. He spoiled her. He loved her tremendously. And look at the children. Happiest man, the prize they joined, they gave, they settled, and the happiest people, they had good jobs, and when the grandchildren came, he was more happy. He was a friend, faithful friend. I saw some other people have come from New Jersey. That shows his relationship with the people. That's all my people are going to come. And that's where, right now, our brother, BP is, Fernando is in heaven. If you have to see, today we will ask a question. But if you see the casket, one day you'll be in the casket too. We all are going to die. Is there anyone who's not going to die? Absolutely. You can leave maximum 106 years old. That's the person I buried from this parish. We all are going to die. You're not going to carry anything. Only two things, one thing is going to carry with you. Your love of God, your relationship with God, and relationship with one another. It's very important. And you're going to see the BP serving the drinks over there and the cars, eternal banquet. And you want to have it your favorite drink, so you need to work hard now. If God is not part of your life, bring God back. God back. God back. You must be angry in the church. You are in that to angry in the church and God. But where is your faith, my people? It's not in the Pope, Cardinal, Bishop, and Father Valentine. Your faith is in this man in hanging. He died for you for your sins. He has redeemed you, and he says, I still love you as you are. You are a perfect being. You may have the human failures, you may have you may be one of the biggest sinners in the world, but still Jesus loves you. God offers you second hand thing. Hold my hand, take my hand, and he's going to hold your hand, and he's going to embrace you. So embrace him, embrace him. And second thing, love or not, that's all God is going to ask you. Did you love the people who came into your life? Irrespective of color, creed, gender, sexual orientation. Did you love them? Did you accept 
this is God is going to ask you. He's not going to ask you anything. And when you do this, right behind Jesus, you will have your dream. Followed by BP saying, take, cheers, welcome home. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Do you believe me? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May be Lord, brother, Fernando, Excel, rest in peace. Amen. May soul and souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. For those who live a sincere and good life, the hour of death is transformed into an hour of glory. Because Christ gives them the crown of eternal life, let us pray in our hour of loss. Our response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Please repeat, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you washed Fernando Cassell with the words of baptism. You anointed him with the oil of the Holy Spirit and also nourished him at your table, given now place among your saints and chosen ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. We pray for our brother Fernando. May God receive him kindly with generosity and forgiveness and the rewards of his faith. May he continue to inspire us to intercede for us and be there at the end to welcome us in our turn into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. We give thanks for all the life enriching and loving qualities that made Bibi such a wonderful gift to all who knew and loved him. Sharpen awareness of how we can reach out to others like Bibi did. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for the gift and privileges of knowing Bibi. Thank God for the joy and laughter and smiles he brought into our lives. We pray to the Lord. For all the religious relatives and friends in the Cassell and the Vargas families, we remember his parents, Peter and Angela, his in-laws, Beatrice and Joseph, his siblings, Charles, Freddie, and Richard Cassell. May they all share an everlasting hope with our Savior, Jesus Christ, whom we pray to the Lord. And the family and friends of Fernando, we pray for his wife, Joan, and children, Christina, Michael, Tiffany, and his spouses, Joanne, Ada, and Anthony. His grandchildren start Rafael and Antonio, his nephews and his siblings and friends, and all the men and women in the military. May they be strengthened by the love they share, we pray to the Lord. Lord Father, into your hands we commend the soul of our brother Fernando. Look gently upon him and bring him home to our kingdom, where death will be no more. We ask this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This time I'd like to invite Fernandez, all three children to bring, please be seated, bring three gifts to the altar, please follow the cross banner.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took a cup that was filled with wine again. He gave the thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do these in memory of me. The mystery of
bring them home to you to be with you forever. Gather us all together into kingdom. Then we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Peace, Saint Joseph of all just Spouse, Saint Father Saint Peter, Saint Saint Agnes, Father Pio, Saint Teresa of Catherine, Saint Francis, and all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. Through him we live in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever. Amen.
but your beloved servant and our brother, Fernando, baby, who had journeyed from this wall, may by this sacrifice be claimed and set free from all his past life, his sins, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. We are this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My beloved family, trusting God, we are praying together for our brother Fernando. And I will now come to the last family. There is sadness in parting, but take comfort in the hope, the sure and certain hope that together all were died in Christ in the rising of the last day. As you stand with the incense in body, is in sign of reverence and our farewell, I can express to rise our beloved brother Fernando to the throne of God. As I would do the incense, hold all your precious memories. Thank God for that. Pray for him and pray for one another.